I've just come back from my holidays. Can you see me? It's very dark. I don't think you can see me. Hang on, I'll put the light on. Is that better? Not really. You can see my washing in the background, look. <laughs> it's been washed. I've got to hang it out. Is that better? Let's take me. I've got, I've got camping hair. <laughs> This is what you look like when you've been camping. I have washed it, but it didn't take me um, straighteners with me. So I've got camping hair. So excuse my mop. Anyway, while I was away, I bought a few bits and pieces. I thought you might be interested. Look, I've got these glasses on. I don't like these glasses. I lost my others. What an idiot. <sighs> Upon a cliff edge at Boss Castle in Cornwall, I was clambering around with the blooming dog pulling me and it was like a blooming 100 foot drop into the sea with all the seagulls squawking around me and um, I had Kimmy with me as well. Jason's fallen to death of heights so I'm like pretending to be all brave, yeah I can do this you know and um, put them in my pocket, I had like a hoodie on with a pocket thing in the front and um, about an hour later I said oh where are my glasses? Oh heaven's sake. So we went back to all the shops, the National Trust and the shops in Boscastle, but no, they hadn't been um, put in. By that time, I'd lost a plot by then, and I thought, I'm not climbing back up a bloody cliff edge to look for some pigging glasses. So if anybody goes to Boscastle, go right down to the end by the harbour, go up the cliff, right up to the very top, along the top on the edge. If you see some glasses that have got white <laughs> arms, they're mine. Let me know. Comment below if you find them. I'll be much obliged. I'll pay postage to get them back. <laughs> anyway, while I was away, I bought one of these. I do a lot of um, walking, me and Jace. And we decided that when we were precariously up this, um, this cliff edge, it'd be quite a good idea, because we're both first aiders, it'd be quite a good idea to get one of these. First aid box bag. I don't think, though, if you fell a hundred and odd foot into the sea, this is going to help you very much. <laughs> but it did bring it home a little bit, because at the campsite, oh, there was some drama. We had these families turn up. Oh, my God, honestly. Families from hell they turned into. Um, the first night they were there, there was four families. And there was, like, 15 adults and about 15 blooming kids running around on their scooters and on their um, little bikes and that down the hill around the corner there's an accident waiting to happen you could just tell it was going to happen very soon oh yeah no it wasn't a kid it was a mum <laughs> i'll say it, a pissed up mum who thought it would be um really funny to go on the little kid's um scooter down the hill so off she goes she went so fast she got to the corner, she couldn't make the corner, so she went onto the grass, catapulted herself over the top of the handlebars of the little, you know, scooter thing, didn't put her arms out and just went, poof, head over heels onto the grass. Anyway, she led there and led there and led there. I said to Jace, should we go out? We're first aiders, should we go out? <laughs> and he's like, there's about 14 people around her pee, I don't think we need to go out. I said, oh, okay then. So we sort of sat there and thought, What's she done? You know, oh, she's just drunk. She's just being melodramatic. She'll get up in a minute. She didn't get up. Anyway, about 20 minutes later, they bring the car down. I said, oh, God, she's off to the blooming A&E. And this is about 11, quarter past 11 at night. Must have been about quarter past 11 at night. And um, anyway, she gets up and she's like this with, with her arm and that. I said to Jay, she's either dislocated her shoulder or she'd broken her blooming arm. Oh, we never saw her again. So she got whisked off to the hospital. And um, then the next morning we noticed they had a camper van and, and that. And it disappeared off. So they must have had to go home. Because I can imagine if you've dislocated your shoulder and had it put back in, the last thing you want to do is sleep in a camper van <laughs> or in a tent. So, yeah, so that was a bit of a shame for the family that they had to go home. But... The rest of them seemed to have a good time for the rest of the time that we were there. Plenty of drink flowing, having a good time. We had a good time too. So, we bought one of these. We got a little one in the caravan, but we thought it would be a good idea to have one when we're out and about. So, 
What else did I buy? I bought some of these. It's not chocolate, can you see? It's silicone mould, because I thought I would make some... Can you see? Yeah, you can see. I thought I'd make some um, jellies, some Slimming World um, like sugar-free jellies. So I'm going to make those in there. So I got those in, I think I got them in B&M. I think it was a pound. It was either that or Poundland. There was one next door to They were next door to each other in Bued. So I can't remember. Don't say on here. But they, they were a pound. So I might do a little tutorial on those. And then the other thing I wanted to make was this out of the barbecue thing. I was going to make, I wanted to make it while we were away. But the internet was so dire. It was awful. So I want to make this which is a chicken and feta and butter bean salad. So, for the butter bean salad, you need um, low-fat cooking spray, some shallots. Look at these shallots. They're mahoosive. Great big long ones. Look, they look like torpedoes. I've never seen such long shallots. Seven cups. I got those in Liddles. I was amazed by them. <laughs> You need shallots and you need garlic and you need um, butter beans um, drained and rinsed. Well, I've got some butter beans here, there, but I thought it'd be also nice because I picked these up. So I thought it'd be nice to put some of these in. These are black eyed peas, like the group, you know, black eyed peas. <laughs> so I thought, yeah, I thought I'd have a go at those. So, yeah. I can't remember how much I paid for those now. I think it was about... It wasn't much. It was no more than 70p, I don't think. So that was that. So I'm going to make that. And you also need some lemon, some fat-free vinaigrette, some parsley, and some reduced fat feta cheese. And then the chicken, I think you just basically just cook, grill the chicken. Um, or you could barbecue it. That'd be quite nice. That's what I was going to do. I was going to put it on the barbecue. So I will make that. And I will do a, um, a tutorial so you can see that. I picked up this while I was in there as well, which I thought would be quite nice. It's a spicy slaw. Um, add a bit of spice to salads, chickens and wraps. It's made by Baxter's. And it's that. So I thought that looked quite nice. And you can see all the little... Can you see? All the bits in there. I think, it's gonna be, I think it is going to be quite spicy because you see all the little... Um, seeds and that like peppers and chili seeds so that would be quite nice it says on the top by appointment to her majesty the queen and i've got a feeling if it says that on it queen eats it in the castle <laughs> i got also i keep seeing this i've seen um jane and charlie um i've seen her use um the curry um, one of these and this is the southern style uh, gravy mix shows you on the back it's the mayflower um, so it makes up 1.6 litres which is an awful lot isn't it I'm just wondering if you can use like half of it but also I don't know how many sins this is so if I was to use half a pack can someone comment below please and let me know how many sins that half a pack of this would be because I don't know I think, how, many, how much is in there? 225 grams. So yeah, if someone could let me know the sin value on that, I'd appreciate that. And I'll, then I picked up this. How pretty is that? Garam masala. And I actually needed some garam masala. But it's really, really pretty, isn't it? Little, really nice. I did think when I opened it, it did go everywhere. Because I thought it would be in a blimmin' plastic bag. Hang on, I don't want to do it again. And when I opened it, it's not. So if you buy this, it's actually loose in, you can't see, it's actually loose inside. And it's quite full. It smells quite clovey, actually. It smells nice like curry, but it does smell quite strong of clothes. I'm not a lover of clothes. <sighs> I might just keep it for the tin. I'll try it and see. If not, then I will just keep it for show. So that was that. 
And then finally, I've got some Guin well, Jason picked this up. It's Guinness sauce. It's a bit blokey, isn't it? <laughs> I wouldn't, women like Guinness. Not me, but yeah, some women like Guinness. Um, it's for meat. It's for steak and meats, it says. Um, 100 grams is 156 calories. I'm thinking maybe a, tea, a dessert spoon will be one sin. Don't know. Someone help me out on that as well? So, 156 calories for 100 grams. There's 295 grams in that bottle. But it looks alright, doesn't it? Try that. I'll let you know when it's opened. It's a smooth and intense, a rich dark sauce, carefully crafted to complement your steak and other meats. There you go. Anyway, so that's me. I'm back off my holidays, so I just thought I'd fill you in. Kimmy had a lovely time. Um, she put a postcard on Instagram, so if you want to have a look at that, um, she put it on my Instagram. I let her do it for her. I did it for her, bless her. <laughs> She's in the garden. I can just see her tail. <laughs> there she is. You can say hello. Have you? Come on then. Good girl. Stay there. Wait there. There you go. Oh, is that it? Is that it? Yeah? Did you have a nice holiday? No. <laughs> did you have a nice holiday, Kimmy? Did you? Did you have a good time? You did, didn't you? Climbing cliffs and all sorts, didn't we? Yes. <laughs> so yeah, so we're back. Looking a right state, but we're back. So um, I shall do a video soon. It'll be back on track and back to work tomorrow. So yeah, so nice to, nice to catch up with you all again. And um, I'll see you soon. Anyway, take care.